Susanville, how you doing? Haven't been on in a while, been a busy summer, so we're going to start putting out a few videos, but um, this is something I made last year. A lot of guys make uh, car heaters, emergency car heaters, and um, kind of maybe a tent heater if you're well vented. Um, for the most part, what you're doing is you're filling a one quart paint can that you get from a hardware store with uh, a roll of toilet paper. Kind of compress it, squeeze it in. Then I use some pink insulation like you're getting from your walls in your basement. I stuffed it in and then on top I put a piece of carbon um, fiber pad that um, people are using in alcohol stoves. Um, okay, so then I take the cover of the one quart paint can. We're going to save that as a snuffer and to store it. We use a bean can and we make two separate covers for for, for this unit. So we're going to cut out one the top of one of the paint cans to make a ring. And it just so happens that these um, bean can covers fit right into this here. So what you're essentially doing is creating, as you can see, I put simmer ring. So you've got a simmer ring if you want it to cook. You also got a cook ring if you want to cook quickly, if you want to just simmer. Um, or if you want to heat the area, if you've heated your area with this large ring initially, um, and then you want to not use so much fuel and heat it slowly, a tent, a cabin, a shelter, or a car, you can do that as well. Um, when you're cooking, you're inserting this into the ring of the one quart paint can using some hardware cloth and cutting it like such and then fitting it, compressing it into the lid. And uh, you can boil some water on here or heat the water because of course the most efficient way to heat your body is to introduce warm liquids or hot liquids instead of just using this to heat the dead air space in the area. Um, I use a one gallon paint can just as a precaution in case you get any fuel spillage or if the can gets too hot. I put two upside down tuna cans on the bottom to create some a spacer so that you're not getting any heat accumulation on the bottom and also it brings the flame closer to the top of the of the uh, paint can so that it's not snuffed it tends not to burn well if it's too deep so basically um, you could use it with the, the cook ring the simmer ring no ring um, you're using regular alcohol uh, there we go and uh, she's gonna warm up and as she warms up um, the alcohol will vaporize a little bit better so I'm using 91% isopropyl it's gonna burn more efficiently you can use whatever you want but there's less water in this um, and it burns very clean so as this heats up you'll notice that um, it burns a little more efficiently um, and you can I have boiled water on this I haven't done any boil times but it does boil water and without the cover it actually will heat um, dead air space very well so you're gonna need instruments to remove the covers and the different rings but that's what it looks like without any ring at all so once you heat your dead air space you know you can reintroduce this and cook with it or um, and like I said when it does heat up this flame will come will come up probably two more inches probably would take uh, another three minutes or so so just a quick little um, tuning up of an old idea a lot of guys have been making these but I just thought it was kind of foolish to heat dead air space and then allow it to dissipate without being able to heat or boil water so that you can introduce it internally and stay warmer longer so you're serving two purposes there you're heating the dead, the dead air space and you're gonna make some hot fluids so okay peace out catch you on the next one